Bank of America Stadium about to play host for this matchup between the New York Giants. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Partner, good to be with you today. Good to be with you too, Jim. You know what we're going to see today? Two defenses that love to hit the quarterback. I'm glad I'm not playing. It's time to get started, so to the field we go. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. And here's two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback out of Ole Miss, Eli Manning, taking the field. Eli Manning, I guess you could also say, a.k.a. Cool Hand Luke, because when the moment is big and the Giants need to play, it just seems like Eli Manning gets it done. First and ten. They hand it off to the running back. A player to watch on the outside is Hakeem Nix. The biggest hands in the NFL, and that's no mistake. He has triple extra large receiving gloves, and he can catch anything thrown his way. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Take a look at the defense now. John Beeson, a player we should be calling many times today. Yeah, he's a smart player. There, there's no doubt about that. And he can diagnose the runs and get in there and make those tackles. And, of course, the other thing he does, he knows how to cover the tight end and get in the right spot to offer the throw of the quarterback. That's a terrible job by the defense in the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover him down the field. And you give up the first down got to make that play well he dropped the football and there's no doubt why he dropped it he's trying to run with it before the football gets there you have to look it in failing to complete that one so second down here looking for an open receiver on the right fights off the hit the tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. First and 10. Eyeing that left side. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. The defense comes out in the nickel. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run, you fake it, easy completion down the field. David Wilson gets the carry, goes to the left, and that's a two-yard game. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Wilson's lined up as the single back, going across the middle. He's in for the score. Got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the wide receiver. Nice job by the quarterback Zini. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. The Panthers have themselves in a hole early. Let's see if their offense can respond on its first drive. The score's 7-0. Turns going to set up his team in excellent field position. The Panthers come to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter. The score's 7-0. First down and 10. This is a screen play all the way. Scores the touchdown. You never know with the talent of these guys nowadays. Little short passes. You think they're harmless, and look what happens. They got so much talent all the way down the field for the score. 
The Giants about to receive the kick after this game was just tied before halftime. The scores 7-7. Seven to seven. And he's brought down after picking up 25 on that kick return. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching a takeaway. He's brought down. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Olsen's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Now first and ten. Brings it into his body. The Panthers signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. And now they'll try over again on second down. Just a quick drop back. They're going to get him here for a sack. Is there for the sack on the play? Uh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. In shotgun formation, challenging the defenders to the right side. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. The line of scrimmage, the 43-yard line. Let's see how they back up the big play here. First and 10. Cam Newton unleashes the long pass. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. And we'll be back to Charlotte after the break for the start of the third quarter, which is brought to you by Verizon. We've got a flag down here. Grabbing the face First mask. Down. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally you're going to grab the face mask. Good yardage picked up on that ball. They come to the line, and it's first down. Stewart's got it on the handoff. Good gainer there by Jonathan Stewart. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. And that's a gain of 10. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. Goal line defense on the field. Looking to the right side and throwing. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. And he's able to take it out for a return of about 26 before being tackled down. The Giants ready to take over the football. 
One more snap and another quarter is in the books. First and ten. The quarterback throws the pass. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment but could not pick it off cleanly. Offense lines up here. Second down and ten. They deck him in the backfield. Fifteen minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Giants have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Looks to his left. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Good job by the defense that whole series. They put the offense in a tough situation. Third long, they stop him once again. David Wilson lined up in the backfield. Manning will take the snap from the shotgun. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Lined up in the pistol formation. First down and 10. Jonathan Stewart with the football. And he'll go to the left. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Shut Second down and seven. Handoff to Jonathan Stewart. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Game of two. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready. Nowhere to go. Williams shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Third down and five. He'll fire it out to the left by Antrell Roll. They're in scoring territory and they have the lead in this one late in the game. What you've got to do as a quarterback and as a coach, you've got to watch that clock and make sure every time that that football is snapped, there's only one second left on the play clock. Take away all advantages from the opponent. First and goal. The Giants have to take their final timeout. That's it. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. The defense comes out in the nickel. Third and goal at the five. Offense is still on the field here. On fourth down, needing eight yards for the first. This was a good game. 